You know, as soon as I started playing football in third grade, playing up with the fourth and fifth graders, I was like, you know what, I want to do this as a profession and I want to play football as long as I can. And I want to be one of those guys that's fortunate enough to get their name called on draft day. I'm on the verge of making my dream a reality. Despite my collegiate success, I still have to prove myself one more time. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm Billy Turner, and this is Driven. Coming out of high school, I was under-recruited. Big Ten didn't want me. Minnesota didn't want me, only being five, ten minutes away from me. Committed to NDSU with all the intentions in the world to uh, get to play the Gophers again in a few years and beat the shit out of them, which we did. You know, getting up to college, getting up to school up in Fargo, and uh, playing as a true freshman, an offensive lineman, and, you know, accelerating myself through those four years, getting better and better from year to year, getting bigger, faster, stronger more explosive and getting smarter. You know, it keeps me hungry, it keeps me fueled, trying to uh, chase that dream of being an NFL player. There's a lot of training facilities out there, but API is always up at the top. I just got here a couple days ago, getting ready to start my journey, trying to project myself as far as I can into this NFL draft. I'm working with Howard Mudd. I think Billy has a bright future. North Dakota State, you know, nobody expects him to do very well. I really believe that someone should give him a chance to play early because he's going to get knocked down, but I don't think he's going to stay down. Coming here and working with the training staff that they got here is, you know, only going to project me further into my career. And it's just, uh, it really gives you the chance to see yourself in the mirror and realizing that you're just that much closer to your goal and your dream. For his size, Billy moves very well. So there's no doubt that Billy has enormous strength and, and the power that he needs for playing in his position. But I think a tweaking and kind of like raising his whole body awareness is gonna, you know, take him further than the average. <sighs> Billy worked harder than anybody I ever met, man. Why don't we introduce Lewis Nix over here? He's the first one here and the last one gone. He, Billy motivates me, I swear. He's full of shit. Don't pay no attention to him. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to his big ass. I've gained a lot of friendship since I've been here, but you know, still to this day, winning three national championships in a row, you know, you still do not get respect from any of those guys, regardless of what school they came from, whether it was a perennial school at the top, a so-so school, or even a bad school. Me being me, you know, I try to talk a lot of shit to him about, you know, man, we went undefeated. What did y'all do? Oh, y'all lost four games this year? It's making that chip a little bigger, a little heavier on my back right now. It's just, uh, it's creating more momentum for me to push myself even further than I am right now and to make myself want to go even further to uh, make, that, uh, make that dream come true about being in the NFL. My entire life, I've dreamed of playing in the NFL. You always got to be on your A game. You can't let up at this point. To be completely honest, it was one of the hardest damn workouts of my life. You know, they, uh, they try to warn you of that and let you know that that's how it's going to be before you get here. But you got to realize that it is a job. And you know what? You can be cut at any second for anything that you do. This is my one shot, and I will not be stopped. This is my one shot, my shot to prove the doubters were wrong, my shot to live my dream, my shot to play in the NFL, and I will not be stopped. I'm Billy Turner, and this is Driven. <laughs>